with uniformed and plainclothes officers today asking visitors for ID for access to some parts of the capital normally open to tourists. But this year it coincides with the central government's toughest crackdown on dissent in recent years, amid apparent unease over the popular uprisings in the Middle East and North Africa. Police officers could be seen around the Mushidi train station in Beijing last night. That's because Ding Lin, the co-founder of Tiananmen Mothers, a group for people whose children died in the crackdown, visits that area each year to remember her son, who was killed there during the student protests 22 years ago. But Ding herself, who was placed under house arrest ahead of today's anniversary, has not been seen or heard from since midnight last night. U.S. State Department spokesman Mark Toner called on Beijing to account for democracy protesters killed, detained or missing from the Tiananmen Square crackdown. In a statement, Toner also urged the central government to stop harassing those who participated in the rallies and the families of the victims. The U.S. State Department called on China to protect the universal human rights of all its citizens, including those who peacefully express political views, and release those detained in recent months. In Taiwan, President Ma Ying-jeou issued a statement also calling on China to respect human rights, institute political reforms and release jailed dissidents, including Nobel laureate Liu Xiaobo and artist Ai Weiwei. National People's Congress member Peter Wong says Hong Kong needs to implement Article 23 because of what he sees as security threats. Speaking on ATV's Newsline, he rebutted Democrat lawmaker James Toh's argument that Hong Kong already has the national security regulations it needs on its law books. Arthur Killer reports. National People's Congress member Peter Wong said previously that some comments made in Hong Kong could be considered subversive, and that is why the controversial national security legislation, Article 23, is needed here. He gave a better idea on what he meant when pressed on Newsline. If you go out there and say down with Beijing, down with Hu Jintao, would that be subversion? I think so. I think that wherever, if, say, for example, we, we are enjoying freedom of expressions in Hong Kong at the moment, mm -hmm. Uh, I think we would still enjoy the same, except for a lot of those acts or deeds is actually uh, uh, affect China's own national security. He claimed that all this was part of the ideological subversion against China. But Democrat lawmaker James Toh thinks this kind of subversion is not necessarily bad, considering that revolutionary leader Sun Yat-sen launched his bid to end imperial rule in China from Hong Kong and succeeded 100 years ago. Well, I, I will not uh, avoid the fact that Hong Kong was and is always a base of ideological uh, subversion. You agree on, with Peter on the, Wong on, on the that. whole world. You agree with okay, Peter or Wong even on, on China or Taiwan. Okay, but look at the history. We celebrate 100 years of uh, our uh, good uh, revolution, uh, mm -hmm. starting a, a more uh, modern China Chinese uh, government if, to if. The debate about security laws was reignited after National People's Congress Standing Committee member and former LegCo president Rita Fan, a hot favorite run for next year's chief executive election, said the next government has to do something about implementing Article 23, as required by the basic law. Wang insisted Hong Kong needs such laws because its doors are open to people from all over the world, making it susceptible to terrorist activities. My question is that... Do we need in Hong Kong a case like 911 before we really seriously look but at... But who are we targeting? Street? Okay. No, and Hong Kong is an open cage. Everyone can be here. But Toh rejected Wong's claim, saying of, most of what Hong uh, Kong needs uh, in terms of security uh, is already in the law's uh, statutes. I would say, I'll tell you, out of the so-called seven elements in the Article 23 legislation, we have already six in our existing law. On the touchy issue of the June 4th crackdown, Toh said people have to remember the event. We want a um, modern China uh, with a strong uh, human rights protection, uh, with um, a modern system uh, adhering to universal uh, value. Then, of course, uh, we would, as a citizen of the whole China, then I would like our country to grow okay. and to remember the past so that we can look I've, forward. I've, I've Wong suggested it might be time to move on. History. I think there are some lessons which we have always got to remember. But I think that as far as moving forward is concerned, we have got to also look ahead. You can catch Newsline on ATV.